Our top story tonight, friends and family of the victim of a tragic bar shooting gathered tonight at East Point to pray for his recovery. 34 year old Jared Glenn is one of six people shot early Saturday morning outside the last call bar and seven action news reporter Jen Shans spoke to Glenn's loved ones tonight. She's live at the East Point Police Department with his condition and the latest on this investigation. Jen. Yeah, Brian Amir, the 34 year old was brought to the hospital in critical condition early Saturday. He was shot in the head. Now his close friends say that he is on life support, but he is showing slow signs of improvement. They say he ran outside to help a friend when he was shot. He's just happy all the time. You'll never see him sad, never. Loved ones of Jared Glenn are still in shock, praying for his recovery. The 34 year old is fighting for his life after police say he was shot in the head outside the last call bar in East Point early Saturday morning. It's pure evil. I, there's no reason to even pull out a gun if you're mad at somebody. Friends say Jared didn't know the shooter who opened fire around 2 a.m. Saturday, hitting a total of six people. According to police, a fight broke out outside the bar just before shots were fired. They say the shooter fired several rounds from a semi-automatic, then fled the scene. Police have a person of interest in custody. Jared's friends gathered at the bar Sunday to pray for him. They say he was rushing to help someone else when the bullets started flying. Basically, Jarrett ran out when he hurt his friend. He ran out to help her and Jarrett was the first one down. The 34 year old who is from Roseville has a genetic condition called Williams syndrome. It can affect development and the heart, among other things. Friends say it's one of the reasons Jarrett is such a social butterfly and trusting. Jarrett is an awesome guy, loves everyone. If you walked into a room and you weren't friends with Jarrett, by the time you left, you were you were friends with Jared. Sunday, dozens of his friends with candles lit and arms around one another prayed not only for justice, but for Jared to pull through. I'm really praying that he makes it. Again, friends and family saying he remains in critical condition tonight. Meanwhile, there is a, a person of interest in custody with the East Point Police Department. We, of course, expect to learn much more about that individual and this ongoing investigation. Live in East Point tonight, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.